I finally got the kitchen plans done and now it's time to build it. So we're going to get started on the toe kicks first and after those are done, we head over to the garage, rip some plywood and start building the carcasses. So I like to build my kitchen cabinets with a 2x4 toe kick that I just lay out right on the floor. Um, one thing that's really nice is it provides a really level flat surface for the kitchen cabinets to sit on top of and makes them easy to level up to each other and attach them to each other. Um, another thing that I really like is it makes your plywood side cuts at under 32 inches so you can get three or you can get six sides out of one sheet of plywood which saves a lot of money and minimizes waste. So it's just one of my little tricks. We just got all the plywood ripped down into the strips and then we cross cut to create all the different panels for the kitchen cabinets. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pocket hole them all so I got one side done on the bottom and then on the other side and then uh, we can start assembly. So we got all the pieces cut and now we're going to go ahead and assemble. I'm going to start on these face frames. So the easy way to do this, we got some glue in the joint there, now we got these pocket holes. Sand it off later, make that where you can't even see it and then we're going to go ahead, these face frames are getting painted. but. Really nice. I made some blocks here because I know that the next one is five and three quarters, so. And my next two are nine and three eighths. So I'm gonna throw in a nine and three eighths one. So we got one side done, flip it over. So we had all these cabinets to build and we, you know, we need help getting them done. So Eric came to the shop and Jacob gave him a 15 minute tutorial and he slapped out, and, and him and Micah slapped out the last three or four cabinets without any issues. They're really easy to build and it's really nice to have some good help as well. That's how I cut blocks so I don't have to measure. There. You were using these uh, face frame. Yep, there it is, all done. So then we'll just put more faces in that and build yes. a cabinet for behind it. Cabinet time. Yeah, cabinet time. So those are the supports just to keep it square. That you can use that cleat to screw into the wall too. There's, there's one done. So now the carcass is done, it's ready to be installed. The last thing to go on is the face frame itself. The pocket holes are here to attach the face frame to the carcass and then um, obviously they're on the outside so you think well you're going to see them but no they're going to be hidden by the next cabinet so and then this side over here is an end it'll get a quarter inch panel that's paintable the carcass is made out of pre-finished plywood so now this thing this carcass is done and so all we need to do is paint the face frame and the cabinets are done
So the harness is all assembled. So put the face frames on this morning, and we're going to put the cabinets in place. That way, uh, it's going to start looking like. All right, let's see it. What is this? This is the sink base? This is the sink base, yeah. Oh. So, we're not going to need that top piece. Yeah, this has got to come off. I just, for structure right now. We're squaring the it up. The sink will actually sit in here. We might need, we might need the forklift to get the sink up here. The what? The forklift to get that sink up here. It's so heavy. It's pretty heavy. That um, poplar face frame is beautiful. Yeah. So then there'll be a couple of drawer, or, uh, doors down here. And then this sink is a... Um, it's just a drop in, right? Apron. I gotta go get the pattern and make sure it fits. What'd you do? I'm just gonna need some nail polish over my fingernails. What'd you do though? I knew better. I was using the drill and I had my fingers here and it pinched them. I know better. I you know can better. see it. It's fine. It's just a little red. It's going to be a little black and blue. But nothing old nail polish can hide. Your head's not going to hit it? Cause you, this it, it's a dilemma. Like you want it as low as possible for the most suction, but then you don't want your head hitting it. Is it gonna work for you? And you're, I mean, I'm short. <laughs> we could go down like probably another eight inches, and it'd work for me. With the carcasses going in the kitchen, everything's starting to take shape and it's really exciting to see something that was just a couple days ago, a sketch on my computer, and it's actually coming to life. One of the challenges in the island was the central vat came up through the bottom of the cabinet and out the side. And since we built our own cabinets, we knew exactly how it was built and it was a piece of cake to just cut it out with the jigsaw and we're just gonna make that drawer that goes in there a little bit shorter and you'll never even know that there's a vacuum pipe underneath it. It's a beast. Yeah, the fridge was, um, it was really tough to get on the porch, but then we had to get it in the kitchen. So, um, you talk about a beast. That thing was like, I don't know how much it weighed, but it was all the four that we could handle. The four guys that we had uh, lifted in here, it was a lot of work. It's in here and um, it's it's not gonna leave. Good thing about it, it's big enough I can hang a moose quarter in, so that's all I need. What do you got going, man? I'm just putting the face frame on this cabinet. 
Be a little pep in your step here. Just putting the face frame on the cabinet. I'm tired. You're tired? Yes. Why? Well, because we had a kids versus the parents softball game last night. The sprinting is what got me. Did you see me? I was like lightning. You were like lightning? No. <laughs> Finishing up the kitchen in here. Obviously, you can see the uh, the kitchen being put together here. This is the island one. And I got the face frames done, so uh, now I'm just going to finish attaching them. This week was a really good week. We got a good start on the kitchen, got all the carcasses done, got the fridge moved in, and now that I have the fridge in place, I can start building the cabinetry around it, build a cabinet next to it that holds the wall ovens, and I mean, maybe we'll get onto doors and drawers. So we really appreciate you watching, and we shall see you back next Monday. Have a good one. See ya.